impromptu camping trip. Uh, we just found out that Patrick was going to have this weekend off, which is really unusual. We almost never have days off together. We're very opposite work schedules right now. So when we found out that Pat was going to be off this weekend, we were like, oh, we should go camping. So we made the reservation. Oh, that's thunder. <laughs> we made the reservation like, what, two days ago? Yeah. And um, we just packed the car in like an hour and a half. And it's starting to thunder. And of course it's supposed to rain. But hopefully we can get there and at least set up before it starts to rain. And go ahead. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you ready? Ready to go on an adventure? Patrick was laughing because uh, we were going to try to go minimalist for this trip compared to the last time that we were camping in the Jeep. And I think we did a little better because we didn't bring the grill, but um, still, still a mound. Red. Hi. Hi, Red. A lot of it's dog stuff. That's. What it's oh yeah. We're, gosh, blame it on the dog. So um, right now we're leaving to go camping, but we actually have to make one stop first. Uh, Patrick's cousin has a food truck, and they're doing a food truck festival in our town here in Galloway. So we're gonna go stop by and check that out first, and hopefully the giant ominous cloud behind us uh, behaves itself. Chef Roland in Galloway, just for the food truck. Starting to rain. Yeah. Oh crap. There's an ambulance. <laughs> That'll help, right? What did he say? It's an egg roll, thinly sliced, like a cheesesteak almost inside, but it's an oh. egg roll. Uh, sirloin, thinly oh, wow. sliced. Yeah. I actually was looking for like a, I had a, like a feeling for like steak, like a steak, cheesesteak. And an egg roll? Mm. That's mm. a good idea. Ooh. And this one is the Ooh. shrimp po' boy. Yeah. Oh man. Mm. How about it? Yeah. So we had every intention of bringing this camping with us, but I don't think it's going to make it. Mm -mm. It's really good. This shrimp is like a little bit spicy. Yeah. Really fluffy bread. Yeah. It's great. We actually had great timing then. Yeah. We didn't even it starts pouring again. Well, 
think we're going to be the only ones camping. We might be the only ones camping. <laughs> we're the only people crazy enough to, to do it anyway. We're that family. Oh my gosh. It's our day off and we're like, we're having fun no matter what. <laughs> and 15 minutes to spare, so hopefully they didn't close early. We just barely made it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, so if you don't check in, you're not supposed to go? Yeah, because you need uh, your tag, and then especially with the dog, you need the permit for the dog. Oh, There's like all separate paperwork for the dog. So the place closes at four, we made it with 15 minutes to spare. Not We're, even. Yeah, barely. And uh, so get here early. I think it what check in starts at twelve, oh. and it, and the place closes at four though. So you got okay. a small window. All right. Yeah. We made it. That's we the important it. thing. And if you uh, or when you come here with a pet, a dog, um, you have to bring the uh, certificate for uh, rabies. So don't forget that with all the paperwork. Redford's packet. Yeah, and then this is separate for and the dog. And the dog license too, right? We had to Yeah, it's on the back actually. The dog mm -hmm. license, the rabies vaccine. Yeah. yeah. All that good stuff. Parking lot camping? Ah, jeez. Yeah. It's busy. Yeah, I guess really. it is uh, 4th of July weekend technically. Yeah. yeah. I think the water's around here somewhere actually. The water? Uh, for drinking. Oh, the... Oh, Potable water. It is a pretty cool water pump. Yeah, I don't see these that often. What are here? That one's uh, five gallons. Really? Mm -hmm. Red's not sure how he feels about that pump. He's a little, a little freaked out. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Red, you're fine. No, okay. Yeah. It does look like it rained pretty hard here though because you can see the uh, like the runoff. Yeah. It looks like there's all water like going down just a little while ago. So this is actually really good timing. Yeah. Cool off, yeah, oh my gosh, it's so much better now. It was really hot this morning. And a keep note too, when you uh, check in at Batstow Village, this is about 17 minutes away. Just come out of the park and come back around. It is a little bit of a drive. Yeah. yeah. Just keep that in mind. Actually, it might be good that it just rained, because this is like packed. Yeah. This is usually like really loose sugar. The sand. last time we were here, it was really soft. Yeah. what to do. We don't have a tent to set up, so what are we supposed to do? Should we put the awning up? If it rains again? about the gear when you're camping really yeah, you being be prepared being prepared is everything yeah. it makes a good one good camping trip or a sucky one it's pretty neat we have like a whole little screened living room kitchen now yeah. especially because last time hmm, we were camping at uh, cheesequake and the sun went down and the bugs were like insane yeah. and actually if we go to Assateague this is an absolute must yeah. The uh, mosquitoes there are like the worst thing ever. Or if I ever go back to the Everglades. 
We have a couple things to fight it with now. Yeah, this and the thermocell. Yeah. I'll pull that out later. I forgot, those are our two new things for this trip. The mm. um, net walls, the bug netting, and the thermocell bug repellent, which works pretty well also. This one is the bigger bug net than we brought last time and it fits much better. We just need to get magnets to hold it onto the car where the doors are, where these little splits are. And then I tucked the front underneath the windshield wipers, but yeah, we, it's big enough that we can open up the uh, trunk yep. and still have full coverage. So nice. it's pretty good. Now we just have to see how we can put the awning and the Jeep together. So if it's really raining or like the bugs are horrendous, we can have one continuous enclosure so uh, we don't get sucked dry, but it's pretty good. This might spoil us too much. I know. What are we doing? We put our regular camping sleeping pads in already and then uh, we have this mattress topper that we're still using. I don't know if we'll actually take that when we're doing the other trip. You look like a mad scientist of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice that we can have red inside the uh, cabin mm. off leash. Yeah. It's like a little contained area for him. Get some free time. Yep. He's enjoying less, it. Less likely to knock stuff over. <laughs> yeah. Patrick is gathering sticks to start the fire and uh, Redford is trying to eat the sticks that are supposed to be used to start the fire. <laughs> Red. Stop trying to steal the sticks. Red. I think Red's really getting the hang of the camping situation. He's like way more relaxed this time than he was the last time. By this time, when we were camping in Cheesequake, he was like super ornery and like just being bad because he was so tired. Now he's sleeping in the grass. This is good. Look how good this dog is being. He's a little dirty, but... Are you a super awesome camping dog now? I think you are. Pretty good now. Yeah. It's <laughs> like we're in a living room. <laughs> this is our camping living room. Yeah. Well, Didn't we want some light yet? Now we're uh, out of camping fuel. And the water didn't boil yet, and we only brought Mountain House because we were trying to get out of the house quick. And uh, it's thundering, but we're going to try to boil the water on the fire and just hope that it doesn't start raining. <laughs> or else we're not eating dinner. It might pass by. I don't know. You think? Maybe. Hopefully. <laughs> no. I can feel the coolness coming from it. Oh. Here comes the rain. I think we have enough for one meal. We can share it. Alright. We did a super quick, quick switch. It's so funny, the lights from the Jeep were like lighting up the tent. 
<laughs> looks like a disco tent. We uh, really quickly dragged the awning over the back of the Jeep so that we can leave the back hatch open, even if it's raining, uh, to get some air circulation because if we're sleeping in there tonight, it's like really humid today. And if we have to keep everything closed, I think it's just gonna be kind of suffocating in there. So this way we can at least open up like the back windows and the back hatch. So this is a great setup. We might just do this all the time then. You like easier. this way? Yeah. Yeah. I think this setup right now is my favorite camping setup that we've ever done. Because if we didn't have this awning, we would be like crammed into the Jeep or crammed into a tent right now, just like waiting for the rain to stop. But we can still get lots of airflow and the dog is just hanging out on the on the weather tech liner that we take out of the back. If we were in a place that was buggy, we would be totally fine. We can still get airflow and we're not getting eaten by bugs. I'm actually really surprised. I, I've never seen this set up on the internet, YouTube. Like, it makes, it makes more sense. And then I started thinking, too, or we were start thinking, like, if you're, like, two people or whatever, not a couple or something, one per person could sleep in the Jeep and the other one could like have a cot and sleep here. You can get different walls. So you can get like solid walls if you wanted to. For, and they're all interchangeable for whatever you're trying to do. Even the front, you, or wherever you can beam the front, you can, uh, they, have, they make like a little door, and, like it has a window. So it looks like a, a full cabin. A cabin, yeah. It's officially cookie time. <laughs> We're thinking of more positive, positive things about this thing. It's too bad we can't make tea because somebody forgot to bring the extra fuel. You always like to forget critical okay. things. What? Tent poles, fuel. Who really needs tent poles mm. when you're having an adventure? That's just my motto. I was, I always, it's funny when that happened because I was always thinking, I was always tooling around with tarps. And I always thought, like, man, the, the people who go camping with the really tarps are badass. And then I was like, oh shit, now we're, we have no choice. <laughs> I was like, alright. Did it. That was our first official camping trip together, mm. so. Well, our first, like, real travel together. Because yeah. we had done camping at the Delaware Water Gap. Mm -hmm. But that was, like, our first big trip west. And I, that's Eon. And I was just mm -hmm. testing you. What? That was your test. So I was like, well, mm -hmm. like if he can hang with me tarp tenting in mm -hmm. Nevada and Arizona, then mm -hmm. you're a keeper. What? <laughs> you passed. Congratulations. <laughs> Here we are five years later. You're, act you're like hoboing hobo hoboing it up. <laughs> yeah. In the back of my Jeep. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yay. Yeah. Boy, good boy. Ready? One, two, three. Hey, Red. Oh, that's my spot. Oh, he's gonna sleep on your pillow again. <laughs> oh, you're beat. What? Goddamn monkey. We're in.